This is the story of the Christmas tree and what it means to me and this family. It's setting up a tree every year for Christmas that we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Everything on that tree to me means something about Christ. The tree itself, as he told us, that he's the tree of life. He said, I am the trunk, and ye are the branches. On the top of the tree is a star. The night that Jesus was born, there was a new star. Appeared in the sky, the brightest star in the heavens. Some people put an angel on the top of the tree, representing the angel that appeared to the shepherds out in the field to tell them to bring them good, glad tidings of great joy because this night is born to you in the city of David a Savior. All over this tree is lights. Jesus told us, he said, I'm the light of the world. I go away and ye are the light. I notch your lights under a bush and set them upon the hill so the whole world could see and glorify God. Some of the people have candy canes hanging on the tree. That candy cane represents that Jesus told him, said, I am the good shepherd. And he was watching over his flock. There's a hook on the shepherd's staff that when one of his sheep gets in trouble, he can pull it out. The color on it is red and white. The red representing the blood of Jesus Christ. And the white representing the purity of Christ. Some people put garland around their tree. And Jesus told us that our soul is anchored by a little crimson cord between heaven and earth through and by him. He watches over us. And around the bottom of the tree is present, sitting all over the place. Jesus told us that all good and perfect gifts come down out of heaven, and the best gift that was ever given is when the son, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on that cross and pay for our sins. So, yeah, the tree means a lot to this family on Christmas. Let us visualize the things that God has done for us and we know how blessed we are. With a clear heart, I can say thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us.